Title. Luke Combs' rendition of Tracy Chapman's Fast Car ignites stirring controversy in country music scene. In a surprising turn of events, Luke Combs has thrust Tracy Chapman's iconic Fast Car back into the limelight, causing a fervor within the music industry. Combs' platinum cover, featured on his March album, Get an Old, has not only soared to the top of the charts but also earned him a Grammy nomination, setting the stage for a memorable performance with Chapman at the recent Grammy Awards. The resurgence of Chapman's 1988 hit has been nothing short of spectacular, clinching the single of the year and song of the year at the CMA Awards in November 2023. The collaboration between the seasoned country star, Combs, and the enigmatic black queer singer-songwriter, Chapman, has captivated fans, creating an emotional full-circle moment. While Combs expressed gratitude to Chapman for crafting one of the best songs of all time, controversy looms over the rejuvenated fast car. Questions surrounding the intersectionality of race, gender, and sexuality in country music have emerged, challenging the dynamics of success and recognition in the genre. The Washington Post ignited the debate, suggesting that as a black queer woman, Chapman would face considerable barriers achieving the same success in the country music realm. Black individuals in the music industry expressed mixed feelings, acknowledging Combs' influence while grappling with discomfort over the industry's response to his overwhelming success as a white male. Despite the dissenting opinions, Combs and Chapman exchanged mutual appreciation. Combs, recalling his emotional connection to Fast Car from his youth, released the cover without seeking Chapman's approval. In response, Chapman, who hadn't given an interview in years, expressed gratitude for the recognition and success the cover brought to her timeless composition. The controversy has sparked a broader conversation about representation and inclusivity in country music. Some argue that the focus on race detracts from the celebration of Chapman's recognition, emphasizing her individual success and the uniqueness of her contribution to the industry. Others, however, echo concerns raised by the Washington Post, highlighting the dominance of whiteness and maleness in country music. As the debate unfolds, one cannot ignore the positive impact of Combs' success on Chapman's legacy. The collaboration at the Grammy Awards, a symbol of unity, may pave the way for future collaborations and discussions about diversity in the country music landscape. In the end, whether seen as an overdue acknowledgement of Chapman's brilliance or a broader call for inclusivity, the controversy surrounding Fast Car continues to fuel discussions about the complexities of success and representation in the ever-evolving world of country music.